Hey, it's Chandani with WeDara.com. I'm tuning in from the beautiful Hamptons. I tried to get away to get some um, peace and quiet here. And I wanted to tune in because it's been a few days since I chimed in. And I wanted to um, speak a little bit about a conversation I had with a beautiful lady today who is uh, a little older than me. She was 65 and we were discussing children and family and being a woman. and. Um, we, we connected on a very profound level and we were speaking about life and about her journey and she was telling me about, I was asking her what her life was like now that she's got two grown boys, who, one's who's a doctor and one who's a businessman. And, um, it was interesting to me to listen to her, she was telling me her husband is her best friend and her husband calls her his beloved first wife which is which gave us a chuckle because I was sort of like that's a rare find these days <laughs> and then we got on to the subject of um, discussing how her life feels now as opposed to when she was younger and she's telling me that now that she's 65 she feels in spirit younger than she's ever done because she really feels in her life that she's able to be herself and by that she meant that she doesn't have to deal with people that um, she has to be inauthentic with, that her whole life she had to, for business, for getting through in the world, she had to be a certain way and had to play certain games and be clever. Those were her words. And, and that now in her life she doesn't put up with any BS. And I thought that was so interesting to me because, you know, revising my own life and, and, and living my own life the lights fading um, I tackle with this and I talk about taking off our masks and being authentic and I do understand that there's a time and a place for everything but wouldn't it be wonderful if we could just really display excuse me display who we were all the time without having to play any games without having to um, be any certain way, if we could just come from our heart and, can you see me, and, and talk about what's really happening inside of our hearts, even if it's business, even if it's a formal occasion, if we could with wisdom and with truth and courage really speak about what's true for us and not have to play any games or roles so that we could acquire or achieve certain things that we justify with diplomacy or appropriate behavior but if we could really have the tenacity and the clarity to tell one another what we truly feel and have the other person receive that with, it, with as much validation and accessibility as possible. I was wondering about that, wondering, does it have to take until we're 65 to be able to really be who we are and not put up with any BS and only say what we truly feel and only hang around and be around people that truly we choose to be around? in the name of responsibility, in the name of lifestyle, in the name of ambition. All those things that come to mind. So the Hamptons are beautiful. Hamptons, all the little Sag Harbour, Bridgehampton, Amagansett, East Hampton, they're all these like little enclaves. It's all these little um, rolling green lawns and trees and restaurants and farmers markets and shops and conversations and sunshine and beaches and I'm tuning in from my episode here in the Hamptons with the fading sunlight behind me to reach to you and say are you having to play these games or these roles and if so why and how could we become more authentic in our day-to-day -day ventures 
as we move towards the next part of our destiny. Wow, my teeth look bright and my eyes are dimming. This is Chandani with me, dharma.com. Together we are stronger.